everybody. I'll walk into the mailbox today. Wear my hat because I don't want to get a sunburn on my head. So let's turn the camera around here and so you don't have to look at me. It's about 84, 85 here. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Is there going to be any blackberries this year? Oh, yes. I see a bunch of green ones. Little bitty ones. Blackberries are going to be good this year. Looks like a raspberry mixed in there. I think I'm going to pick some this year. And I'll get me my sure gel before the price goes up any more than it already has. <sighs> and maybe make some blackberry jam too. I don't know. Let's see what I'm able to do. So I was recording on the wrong camera <laughs> or the wrong uh, software. So uh, now we're in, in sync here, I guess. I don't know if you can hear that, my neighbor's chickens. And I uh, got the results back from my blood work that they did yes yesterday. It's amazing. It usually takes three or four days before I hear anything. But they called me back and said, uh, for those of you that don't know, my calcium was a little bit high. They were worried about that. But now it's back down to normal. And that's, the reason it was high is because I was taking a calcium supplement. And he said, you don't need it. So, okay. I always like it <laughs> when they say that. You don't need it. Taking a look here to see if we're going to have blueberries. Because I don't see any little green ones on there. Not in this patch, anyway. Let's check the other ones on the way back. <laughs> and raspberries. Yeah. What's that? I thought it was blackberries. Maybe it is a young blackberry plant. Because it did have thorns, but not bad ones like the big ones I always get. And. Some of the choke cherries are out. Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. I'm changing my exposure. I don't want to do that. There. <laughs> See? Aren't those pretty? I think they're choke cherries. I don't know, because they hang in bunches in some places. Like choke cherries. And if you can't tell, it's windy today. But it feels so good. It's not hot. The other day I was out here, something probably got it, but I was going to 
one of these choke cherries had a great big berry on it. Look at that. I don't know if that's a choke cherry or not. It looks kind of big. <laughs> There's some more over there. And these people call army worms, but it's actually gypsy moth. And this year they sprayed for those out here. It is amazing. This last year we had them so bad you couldn't do anything. Once again, I'm sorry for the wind noise because it is very windy today. Man, I had such, such a good day yesterday. And if you guys haven't seen it, so I don't, some of you haven't probably been on my Facebook thing to see it, but it's a long story, but maybe I'll put that over on my private group too. Um... The Lord really blessed me yesterday when I needed it. <laughs> and then today, again, because a lot of people don't know when your calcium is higher, um, it can be a sign of thyroid problems. It can also be a sign of cancer and other things that aren't good. So, yes, it was kind of weighing heavy on me, but I took it to the Lord. And now things are back to normal. So, the word to the wise, if you uh, are not so wise, I don't know, like me, if you take calcium thinking you're doing the right thing, it could really mess you up. And it almost did me. And I'm so thankful I trust my doctor and he was on top of it. And he told me yesterday, he says, keep on eating the things you're eating because he knows I do the ketogenic diet and he supports me on it. He said, I'd rather have you get your calcium and that stuff from what you eat and not from taking supplements because you don't need it. I said, okay. So if anyone needs calcium, let me know. It's calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Um, the only part that was bad for me was the uh, calcium side of it. <sighs> And I didn't share nothing with anyone about that because I share it with the Lord. The Lord is my physician. I take everything to him. So a few people know, but not a lot. I don't talk about my private business with other people because the Lord took care of it. Oh, let's see. Are there green berries in here? Mixed amongst all these weeds and stuff. I don't see any. That's an, oh yes. Right here's some real blueberries. The little tiny ones. It looks like they're gonna go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if I can find them on camera. But there's some actually ripening there. Because usually the 4th of July is when we pick berries here, blueberries. So those look like they're definitely going to be ready. Yeah, I love blueberries, especially the wild ones. They taste better than them. Oh, hot host type. 
well, not hot house, but the ones that grow on, you know, the big fat berries. Those aren't real blueberries. They're modified. <laughs> The blueberries don't get that big naturally. And looks like the milkweed was ripe, blossoming, or starting to, yeah. I got lots of them seeds at home. I'm going to throw it in my yard because the monarch butterflies just absolutely love it. Oh, a bunch of junk mail today. They didn't even come yesterday. Well, three letters anyway. Who's that? Direct TV. AERP. Yep, junk. Oh. AERP probably isn't junk in some places, but around here, none of my stores took it, so I guess there's a few more that do now. Now, I know other people are going to call this different, but my grandma always called these little orange flowers Indian paintbrushes. Aren't they beautiful? I think so. And look at all the white clover. <laughs> That's good to eat too and it's good for you. Anybody buddy remember when they used to go to up here it was uh, Wendy's hamburger restaurant. They had a all you can eat salad bar in there. And you used to be able to get alfalfa sprouts. I used to love those things. And now I can't find them anywhere. No restaurant has got them on the salad bar that I've seen in years. <sighs> Let's walk in this spot here. Lots of different uh, blueberry bushes in here. Lots and lots and lots of them. Them little flowers. We used to call those pita beds. Don't know if that's actually their name. I, mean, I know it's not, but some kind of daisy or something. More blueberries. And here it's pretty accessible to the deer and everything, so there probably won't be a whole lot in here. I don't know. Oh boy. Uh oh, I think I changed my exposure. I did. Oh, I can't get it back right now. Oops. Well, this video is going to be a little darker at this end. Oh well, I'll fix it later. There's so many settings with this. I love this software. But uh, if you forget, <laughs> the old rotten stumps. It used to be a big oak tree, I think. 
how many years ago. Army worm crawling on it. <laughs> Where is he? I don't know if I can get on him or not. Oh, he went behind. He's crawling in the crack there. Yeah, better get back home. I don't know if I'll post this video or not. But... <sighs> There's a little, another little yellow flower and a little daisy type thing. See these little yellow ones? They're cute too, and then there's Daisy with a bee on it. More of them down there. I like to watch the different on um, plants that blossom and stuff at different times. Oh, there's some purple clover. More daisies, and then here's some big, tall purple clover here. I was going the wrong way. I would eat that, but it's kind of looking like something's been at it. <sighs> and then there's some golden rod starting there, which I won't mess with because I'm allergic to that. Oh no, that ain't, I don't think that's golden rod. Where is it? Can't find it in the film, in the screen thing. Anyway, it's literally those little, right there. I don't think that's golden rod. Looks kind of like a mustard, but yet not. There's some more of them up here closer to the edge of the road. Of course, your burdock. Let's see, where is it? Aren't they pretty, though? The wild flowers. <laughs> People go buy this stuff every day. They don't pay attention to it. All oh, the blackberries over there. But I can see all the berries on them too. I don't know if they're showing up in the picture because I can't see the screen. The sun hit me in the face, but there's lots of new berries on there. Those are all blackberries. Probably a few raspberries mixed in, who knows. <sighs> when we get back by my neighbors, I'll look and see if the blueberries are ripening by the road. Some more of the little well, daisy things. And these are pretty too when they open up. A big, a big yellow flower in there. I'm not sure what they are, but they're bigger and they're kind of pretty when they open. There ain't any around that I can show you that are open. I didn't know what to do a video on today and I wanted to put one out. I've got one 
waiting to be uploaded. <laughs> also, oh look at that. That is so pretty. And I don't think that's a dandelion, it's some other kind of but look at them seeds on there. And they got like a shimmer to them like. That is so pretty. Those will be flowers in here eventually. <laughs> I am sweating. Holy moly. <laughs> Out here on this road. I just heard some kind of animal. The sun really bounces off the road and it cooks you. Now the Timothy grass and probably rye grass and all that stuff growing here. nice. Yeah, it looks like a bunch of weeds though. <laughs> Needs to be mowed. Look at that sky. No clouds. It's just blue. No chemtrails. <laughs> oh. I wasn't gonna go get my mail because I knew there was nothing but junk mail, but I wanted to get a walk in too. There's one of them getting ready to open, I think. Them yellow flowers. Well, not open, but getting ready to get a flower on it, put it that way. I don't see any berries on here, but this is right by the road. Oh, wait a minute. Looky there. Taste it all butter. Oh, there's some more. Come on. You see him right there, about in the center? They're not totally purple yet, but they're getting there. But anyway, what I was going to say is the berries here, right by the edge of the road like this, the uh, deer get them and stuff. Maybe kids on bikes. Because there is a family of children up here, so they might be picking them. But I know where there's a very big patch out here that I'm going to go visit. Maybe in the forest if it's not too hot. I like the wild blueberries are better for the, uh, like muffins and stuff like that. Because they, I don't know, they taste like a blueberry. They have flavor to them. Some of those commercial ones, they don't taste like much of anything. I like the wild ones better. I sure ate it off of them. <laughs> Somebody shooting at something again. Well, I suppose I'll let you go here and let you guys get back to your day. Do whatever you were doing. Look at these young leaves on this maple or oak tree. That's pretty. New growth.
Yeah. I'm gonna go back and see what kind of trouble I can get into. I was gonna uh, do a um, hamburger for like taco meat can that with all the seasonings in it. So all I gotta do is put it in a taco, you know, heat them and eat them. And uh, some uh, um, sloppy joe meat can, of, you know, with the seasonings, or seasoning, I mean sauce, and everything on it. And then some plain hamburger, so I wanted it for hamburger stew or hamburger soup or something like that. I'd have it. But I didn't get it out of the freezer. It's frozen. Really frozen. So with that, I'll let you just go and get back to whatever you do what you were doing. And uh, this is Grampy Campy, and I thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment. And I'll talk to you next time. <laughs> See if I can get in on this flower like the other one back there. I have no idea what that is. It's probably some form of dandelion, but it's cool. <laughs> so remember, like I always say, whatever you do in life, make a difference. Bye. Till next time. And remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. I know.